If you want to stay humble, become a YouTuber. Welcome in. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 and over 60 woman. I'm so glad you stopped by today. We're doing makeup. We haven't done makeup in a long time. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave and make sure to click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want all the good stuff, you might want to sign up for my Sunday morning email newsletter. The link is in the description box down below. What's the Sunday morning email newsletter? Well, it comes out Sunday morning, <laughs> clearly. And in it, I include all the cool things I found throughout the week, whether it's a great buy or a really good product, a super sale, a great piece of information, something funny, whatever I would share with you if we were out together having coffee. That's what goes in the Sunday morning email newsletter. And I'll tell you what, with all of the things I do on my channel, that newsletter is probably the most popular thing. I get emails and comments all the time about how people look forward to it every Sunday morning. It's super easy to sign up. The link is in the description box down below. It's totally free. It's totally fun. I think you're gonna love it. I've had so many of you ask me to do the makeup that I wore in my top 10 skincare tips video that I did, gosh, a couple of weeks ago. And you know what? This is not that. <laughs> But the good news is, is that I actually did that look in a makeup video several weeks ago, maybe a couple of months ago. I'll have that linked in the description box down below. What we're doing today is trying a couple of products that came in that I was a little bit curious about. And I don't do makeup that much on my channel anymore. It's more lifestyle and fitness and health and that sort of thing. But I was just kind of in the mood and maybe you guys are too. The first thing that I was interested in trying today is from Laura Geller and it's the Baked Balance and brighten foundation. Now when this came in and I opened it up I thought oh that looks like a highlighter and then I realized it's a foundation. So we're going to try this today because I'm really curious. It's a powder. have no idea how that's going to go on my mature skin. The other thing is Revlon sent me a mascara. It's the big Ad Lash Mascara. Who comes up with these names? I want to name stuff. It'll be nice names, enthusiastic names, pleasant names, sweet names, not big bad lashes. You guys know I love a good mascara. We're going to check this out and see if it's worth buying. And then NYX sent me the Thick It and Stick It <laughs> Brow Gel, which for me is an important product because I'll tell you what, I have Carl Malden eyebrows when I wake up in the morning. I need to tame my eyebrows before I leave the house because they're all over everywhere. We're going to give this a try today and I've got a few other things that we're going to whip on the face and hopefully I'll look a little bit different than I look right now. I'm going to go ahead and start priming my face. I'm going to use the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer this morning. I like this primer. It is expensive. <laughs> so there we have it. Just about one pump on the back of my hand. So <laughs> On to the issue of staying humble as a YouTuber. I want to share this story with you because it's in my mind. I have had my channel for about four years now. And over that four years, there are a lot of people that have stopped by and watched at least a video or two. So people know my face. And it's gotten to the point now where someone will recognize me probably two or three times a week, you know, when I'm out and about. And I've just learned to work with it. It's not that I'm a big deal. It's just that people have seen my face. For instance, I was at the pool a couple of days ago laying out, which I do. I do every day. I try to get some sun on my body every day. This is the MAC Paint Pot in the color Paint Early. I'm going to use it for eyeshadow primer. And I was just laying my stuff out on the chaise lounge, you know, getting my towel there and this sort of thing. And this couple walked by me. I didn't know them. And the gentleman, the husband says, oh, hi, Kimberly. <laughs> and I said, I, you know. So that's just kind of what happens. What I can say is that everyone that I've met that's ended up talking to me, they're always so very nice. I have not had a single crabby person, which is good for me to think about because maybe I'm leaving people in a happy state. So here's what happened. A couple of days ago, I had one of those days that we all have from time to time where I'm just working around the house. I am very busy getting my garden prepped, the flower farm, and my vegetable garden. So this particular morning was a very labor-intensive sweaty morning out in the backyard, filling pots with soil and moving stuff around, and I was a sweaty hot mess, and I knew it. Well, I came into the house as it started getting hotter, and I thought, you know what? I know I need to take a shower, and I know I need to wash my hair, but I knew I was going to go back out into the backyard in the evening when the sun had gone behind the house and finish up the work that I had started that I didn't finish. I needed to put soil 
in one of the green stocks and stack that up. Another sweaty process. So I didn't take a shower and I didn't wash my hair. This is a Remo and Eyebrow Pencil. I don't really like it. It's too warm, but it's a high hat right now, so that's what we're using. Anywho, I needed to go to Home Depot and get some more soil and some things that were going to help me with the project that I had to do that evening. I knew I was a mess. I was running to Home Depot for five minutes to get just a few things. I got dressed in my tatty clothes because I was all sweaty, and I drove up. It wasn't Home Depot. It was Lowe's. It was Lowe's. It's Lowe's near me. <laughs> Anyway, and I drove up to Lowe's. Well, I'm in Lowe's and I've got a cart and I'm putting stuff in it and I'm hauling bags of soil and this sort of thing. And this beautiful woman, tall, beautiful woman walks up to me and she says, I watch your channel. And I'll tell you what, you guys, usually I'm like, fine. Like I like to introduce myself and find out who they are and a little bit about them. It's just kind of a fun time to chat. I, in that moment, felt so weird. <laughs> And it wasn't so much that I was embarrassed. I was literally standing in front of this beautiful, tall, gorgeous woman, red hair. She had her makeup done. Her hair was done. She was wearing an outfit. It was coordinated in Lowe's. I think there should be a law. You cannot show up to Lowe's looking that good. Anywho, and I was looking at myself or thinking about what I was looking like. I was wearing my stained old tennis shoes, a very tatty pair of jeans that I'm sure were dirty, an old t-shirt in gray gray, not flattering. My hair was greasy and messy. I mean, there was nothing about me that was cute. Nothing. And I was standing there talking with her. She was very nice. And all I could feel is totally, totally uncool. It was just what was on my mind. I wasn't embarrassed because I really don't get embarrassed, but I'll tell you what, I felt incredibly uncool. So if you want to be humble... <laughs> become a YouTuber because there is no running to Lowe's in the last minute to pick up something in your old dirty jeans looking like a ragamuffin and getting away with it. All right, so you guys can see the color of this brow pencil. I think it's too warm. I like a little bit cooler color. My actual favorite brow pencil is the one from Kosas. The blonde is kind of a cool tone blonde. I don't particularly care for this, but it's what we're going with today. The next thing I'm going to do, and this is something I've been doing quite a bit, and I will actually do this when I'm not doing my makeup. I will use one of these Jones Road pencils, and I've actually pretty much fallen in love with these. For as much use and as handy as they are, I can say I really do like them. And I have two colors out on my desk. One is a color corrector for around my face when I have a little do down I want to cover up. This is lighter. It's for under my eyes. And what I'll do is I'll just run it right in that, see that real purple area right there. I'll just run it right there. And I like the fact that they are thicker. You know, the actual pencil itself is thicker because I can cover a lot of area. So I'm going to cover up those purple areas. And then I'm going to take the Catrice. This is their under eye brightener. It's a dupe, an absolute dupe for the Beauty Pie one. And I'm going to just swirl a little bit on my finger and work that through. And that's really going to help to lighten up those dark circles underneath my eyes. And I will do this off times on the days that I'm not really doing my makeup and I am going somewhere like out to lunch with a girlfriend or something and I don't want to look like I've got real dark purple circles under my eyes. And then I'll just touch it up with a little bit of finishing powder and blend it in and it just kind of evens out the look of my face. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to do something really, really simple. I don't do makeup very much anymore because I'm living the barefoot lifestyle here in Central Florida. And today I'm just going to do a real simple look. I'm going to start with my Gone Matte Palette from ColourPop. This is so handy. It is very affordable. It's almost like I can use this for almost every look that I do. I'm going to take my brush. This is the BK Beauty 503 brush. It's from the Angie collection. And I'm just going to dip it into this little cream tone right here and that's going to go on both lids from top to bottom. I'm really just trying to lighten up the lids and even out the tone and give my eyebrows a little bit of lift with that lighter color. Now I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to dip it into this color Very Velveteen right here. It's kind a muted muddy purple tone and I'm going to place that right in the outside corner of my eye and that's going to go in the transition area really softly. 
And when I'm placing that in the transition area, I want to make sure that it's going to show up when my eyes are open like this. Because my lids are a little bit hooded, I like to make sure that that transition color is a little bit above where that eyelid folds in so that it actually shows up and pushes that area back and gives some depth to my eyes. Now I'm going to take that same brush and I'm just going to make sure that that eyeshadow is blended in really well and that it looks very subtle. One thing you can do with this look is if you want to really brighten up the lid to make the lid look more open and your eyes a little bit brighter and fresher, is you can take your finger and dip it into that color and then just tap it on the lid because that's going to be a more concentrated application of that shadow. And look at the difference that it's going to do with the lids. It's really going to kind of open up and brighten your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Now we're going to go in with this foundation. I guess it's foundation. I looked it up on the internet and it said it's a light to medium foundation, which is perfect for me. And the reason I'm kind of interested in it is because a lot of times I don't do my makeup at all here in Florida because it just really, I'm outdoors all the time. It's not a makeup kind of place. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I could have something that I could just swish all over my face really quickly to kind of even out the skin tone, make my face look a little bit brighter, fresher, a little glowy or something. Maybe this is going to be a good fit for that. I'm going to apply this with the refer brush. This is their 31 brush and I think it's kind of a kabuki brush almost. So I'm just going to swirl this around. They sent me the color Fair. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on one side of my face to start with so we can see if there's a difference. I'm going to go ahead and hit all my little doodads on the side there and down my neck just a little bit. So there's a fairly light application and you can see the baked and brightened. I think that's the name on this side and no foundation on the inside. What do you guys think? It does seem to even out the skin tone. I like the fact that there's a little bit of glow. I like glowy on my skin. That's the personal preference. Maybe you don't. But here is the coverage. I actually think it looks kind of nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the rest of my face. And I think you could probably go back and put on another application of this to kind of make the coverage more, oh, more opaque or more full coverage. I'm worried a little bit about it looking cakey because it's a powder. And today I did use my favorite moisturizer. This is the Beta Glucan Daily Moisture Cream from iUnique. This is so affordable. It is so good. It is my most hydrating moisturizer. So that's what I used today because I wanted to make sure that my skin really had a lot of moisture content to it. This feels light on the skin. I'm going to really watch as it kind of absorbs into my skincare to see if it ends up looking cakey or dry. Right now it looks kind of okay. I don't think it's as moist as of course my cream foundations or my liquid foundations, but it does kind of I don't know, it evens out my skin tone. It's pretty doggone easy. For bronzer today, I'm going to use my Catrice Triangle Artist Stick. It's triangle. <laughs> That's why they named it that. This is harder to find. I think you can only get it on the Catrice website now. It's really good and it's really, really inexpensive. It's actually one of my favorite bronzers or contour sticks. I really like the color because it's a cooler tone. It just seems to work really well with my skin tone. So I'm just going to... Place it around my face. I'm going to take my Real Techniques stipple brush. They don't have this in the line anymore. I don't know why they took it out. This is like such a great brush. Super affordable. Maybe they've replaced it with something else. If anybody knows, <laughs> put it in the comments down below so we can learn. So I am just taking this and blending it in. And I like to blend it into my hairline so that it's not just a straight line along the top of my forehead. Anywho, if you're that woman at Lowe's that I look like a ragamuffin to, I'm so glad to have met you. And I apologize that I wasn't very gracious that day. I think I was just feeling a little bit dorky. Isn't that pretty? 
the way that it blends in. I just really like that. So down underneath my chin, and the only thing we're doing here is creating a false shadow because it's the light and dark colors that push the planes of our face backwards or forwards. And the dark is going to push things back and it's going to make it look like my chin line is a lot firmer than it actually is. What do you guys think about that foundation? It's almost looking a little bit prettier as it's soaking in. Does it look that way for you too? I'm curious. For blush today, I'm using a Milani blush. They have the best blushes. This is an older blush in their line. It is Dolce Pink. It's really, really a very, very pretty blush and very, very affordable. You can pick these up at Walmart, pretty sure. So this is Dolce Pink. Isn't that pretty? It has a little reflect in it, a little gold reflect. When you're putting your blush on, don't be afraid if it looks a little bit heavy because your cheeks are turning pink from the fact that you're pouncing something on it. So it's going to calm down and that blush is going to blend into your skin. So it's not that it's going to look that strong after it soaks in for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take the BK Beauty 103 brush and then I'm just going to smooth out the edges of that blush so that there's no harsh lines and then it really just blends in with everything else I've got on my skin. For highlight, I'm sticking with the Milani. I love Milani. <laughs> they're so affordable and they're really very good. This is their strobe light highlight. It's pretty strong, but you guys know I love a good highlight. I try to go a little light-handed, which is not my strong suit. A little bit on the tip of my nose. I know that looks pretty doggone glowy. I'm gonna put just a little bit underneath my brows. Then I'm gonna go back in with that 103 brush and really blend that in. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe it. I did the same thing I do so much lately. I forgot to put on under eye concealer. The reason why is because I use that Jones Road pencil and the color corrector from Catrice, so it makes my under eyes look a whole lot better. But I am gonna touch it up a little bit and I can kind of smooth it out with my brush after I'm done. I've actually fallen kind of in love with this Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken Caffeine Vitamin C. How ridiculous. <laughs> concealer. This is in the color 15. I really like it. It really sets down nicely. Has one of these sponge tips. Don't like that part. It's just weird because you can't control it very well. So I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my eyes. This just shows that, you know, you can <laughs> screw up with your makeup and still come back in and fix it. So I'm just going to tap that in with my finger and that did brighten up my under eyes a little bit. I'm going to go in with my Kosas powder and set that down. And then I'll show you guys how I'm going to blend that in. This is just a little perfusion sponge. Really great for underneath the eyes. It's a good set. I got it at Walmart and there were like seven or eight sponges in it for, gosh, maybe $12 or something. I am down to like one or two sponges because my animals. <laughs> Dex the cat will knock them off my makeup table and then Lucy will see it on the ground and pulverize it. So they're working against me, both of them. So that should have blended that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with that Laura Geller foundation, get a little bit on the refer brush, and I'm just going to hit sort of right underneath that eye trough area to kind of blend it in. And take that 103 brush again. This is why it's so nice to have a big fluffy blending brush because it's just so doggone handy. All right, <laughs> mistake averted or solved, something like that. I'm going to tight line with the L'Oreal Lay Liner. These have been discontinued. I just have a few still in my collection. This was my favorite liner. I don't have a favorite yet. I haven't found anything I liked as well. It just always worked really well. I don't know why they discontinued it. Well, they didn't talk to me clearly. Okay, we're going to move on to the Revlon Big Bad Lash. Probably would have named it Sweet Long Lashes or something like that, but... Again, they didn't ask me. Big red tube. Let's see what it looks like as we open it up. All right, it's a shorter wand. You can see that's shorter than most wands. And it is a regular hair wand, fur wand. I don't know, it's not a rubber wand, bristle wand. And they look to be a little bit longer than standard bristles. So let's see how this goes. I like it that it really does separate the lashes with those longer bristles. 
Okay, guys, this is an amazing formula. This is one coat with the new mascara, Big Bad Lashes. <laughs> I forget the name already. No clumps, not a single clump, and my eyelashes look long and soft and not clumpy at all. It's wild. Okay, let's put on a second coat and see what happens. Maybe that's where things go south, or maybe not. Now, I didn't use a lash primer today, which I almost always do, but I wanted to see what this was going to look like all on its own. All right, <laughs> this is two coats. Look at that, you guys. Holy smokes. There's not a single clump, and it's not too wet right out of the tube. I just opened it up. This is amazing. They look very light and fluttery, not like thick and globbed up with mascara. That's a good mascara, or at least it is right now. I don't know if it's one of those mascaras that it starts out really great and then it goes funky, but boy, right now, it looks pretty doggone good. <laughs> I'm impressed. All right, we're going to do lipstick. But first, I want to talk about the lipstick that you guys have been asking about in a lot of my videos because I've kind of been doing the same look for a while now. I kind of found a look that I like. And it has to do with a light lipstick. Usually, you guys have seen me wearing this Lawless lipstick, which is so pretty. It's kind of a cool tone pink. And it's called Baby Girl. And I use this with a cool tone a little bit darker liner. So it's kind of an 80s look where the lip liner looks distinctly different from the lipstick. So this is Baby Girl. This is a more expensive lipstick. It's probably 20 something dollars. I don't know. They sent me the whole line. I didn't buy them. If you want something that is similar but more affordable, this is Born With It from Maybelline. This is a great lipstick. I've had this in my collection for a long time. And by golly, it is almost a dude for that baby girl. So here's the Maybelline born with it. Here's the baby girl from Lawless. You can see this one is a little glossier, a little bit cooler. This one's a little bit warmer, lighter pink. But boy, when you get them on your lips with a little darker lip liner, they look almost identical. The lipstick I'm going to wear today is really bright and quite a pop of color, and it's called Treat Yourself. This is one of those Superstay ink crayons from Maybelline. These are really nice. They really do stay on. And you know what? They're not horribly drying. A lot of these stay on lipsticks just make your lips feel like the desert within an hour. These are actually pretty doggone good. I am not going to put it on on camera because I have to pull my mirror all the way up to my face because I can't see that well, you know, and I've got to have a closer mirror when I do this. So I'll be right back with my lips on. So this is the lipstick Treat Yourself from Maybelline. I'm gonna go do my hair and I'll be right back. Here we have the finished look. Gosh, that was a lot of fun. I haven't done a makeup video in a while. Let me know down in the comments if you wanna see more makeup videos, because I can do them. They're kind of fun. <laughs> we might as well fiddle while Rome is burning, right? We'll just fiddle with makeup. What are my thoughts about what we tried today? First of all, the Laura Geller, I believe it's called Baked, Balance, and Brighten. This is in the color Fair. You know, I don't know what I think about it right now. I don't hate it, absolutely. I don't know if I love it. I could love it. What's going to probably tell for me is if I find myself reaching for it in the next few weeks when I'm just running out of the house, I don't want to do full makeup, I just want to even out my skin tone and give a little bit of glow to my skin. If I end up grabbing this and using it, I'll let you guys know. That's kind like what I can tell is if it's something that I use in a pinch. So I do like the look on the skin. It doesn't look heavy or cakey, but again, I did use the Eye Unique. This is their Beta Gluck and Daily Moisture Cream. I'll have this listed below. This is so affordable. It is so hydrating. So I think that this really helped this. Let me know how it looks for you on the camera. Does it look natural? Does it look a little glowy? Does it look pretty? What are your thoughts. If it ends up being good, this is a nice little find because it's a quick way to even out your skin tone and give a nice little glow to your face that you don't have to sit down and put a lot of work into it. This mascara, 
Holy smokes! I have found so many good mascaras lately. This seems to be another one of them. And again, I want to use it over time because, you know, sometimes a mascara is great right when you open it up, but two weeks later it's just a goopy mess. Right now, I can tell you my lashes look long and soft. There's no clumping at all, which I'm confused. I don't get it. These are really nice looking lashes thanks to this. This is the Big Bad Lash from Revlon. I'll have it listed down below. Now on my lips, of course, I used the Revlon, but I also topped it with the San Diego from City Beauty. That's why it looks a little bit glossy and a little bit softer right now. So that just gave it a nice gloss and kind of toned down that strong color a little bit. Well, that's the video for today. I hope you had fun with it. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy these and you want to see more makeup videos. We definitely can do that. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 and over 60 woman. Make it a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.